Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox where I decided to create a B-52 and an X-15 during live stream. Unfortunately there are some uh, inaccuracies, especially the color of the cockpit of the X-15 obviously needs to be black, the rest of the body is black. I do have a texture replacer for stock parts but for some reason it wasn't working with this cockpit. Maybe it's a Venn stock revamp cockpit or something like that that the texture replacer doesn't work with. But yeah, so bit of an issue there. The other issue was that the body of the B-52 is too wide uh, and probably a little bit too tall. Now, we're, we're sort of tending off to one side. I don't have a counterweight for the X-15 deliberately because I think it's more fun to try and take off with it without a counterweight. I could easily move the... We don't have a full load of fuel. I could easily move this fuel over to the outboard tank and that would pretty much do it. But uh, let's see about this. That's disabled. Okay, fly-by-wire is enabled. Throttle up. Engines on. The engines are actually DC-9 engines, which are uh, close enough to the B-52 engines to make it work. I'm going to use some nose wheel steering here to straighten us up. Still bumps in the runway. So yeah, the X-15 is about 18 tons. The B-52's dry mass is correct. Its wingspan and body length are uh, basically both a meter longer than they should be. Again, I have to change. That's because of the length of the body. Once I get the body shape right, we'll be able to uh, get the wingspan correct too. Because the wingspan is just, it's just procedural wings, so. It really does fly like a B-52, so that's a good thing. Landing gear I've put in the right places, I believe. More or less. The engine on the X-15 is correct. It's the XLR-99. And we've got the right amount of fuel. The dry mass of the X-15 is correct. Um, we even have a separatable bottom fin, and we've got skids in the back. Now, the skids are a little bit of a problem. They're lackluster lab skids, and, well, we'll see how they work out. I've added more impact tolerance to them because they weren't initially configured for an X-15 landing, after all. Uh, so we'll see if they work out for us, but it's a toss-up. Also, I keep forgetting to add an extra pilot for the X-15, so we'll have to move our pilot over when it comes time to do X-15 things. Now, the previous time I tried this, uh, we went pretty far out from the runway, but it turns out not far enough. And on the X-15 flight, we actually crossed all of Florida. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get far enough from Cape Canaveral to make a X-15 landing at Cape Canaveral even viable. But you can see the body is looking much more hefty. The B-52 body is uh, shorter, much thinner, and uh, yeah, that comes down to just resizing this cockpit, and so far that has not worked out for me. Of course, I also have to, uh, these tanks are tweak scalable, but the, if you want to change their aspect ratio, if you will, you know, the relationship between height and width, then you can't just uh, go tweak scale it. So I don't know, uh, still. You can judge for yourself how legit that looks like. I don't know. It looks okay to me. There is another option for the cockpit, actually. I hadn't noticed during the live stream, but there is another B-52 Stratal Fortress cockpit based on a stock part. This is actually a B-9 cockpit and B-9 body, but there's a stock option, and I might have to take a look at that. Okay. Well, that's 270. That should be generally in the right direction for Cape Canaveral. Tough to say right now. We'll definitely get a good view of it once we're at high altitude with the X-15, though. Okay. Um, let's let's go down a bit, get some velocity, and it really shouldn't be starting out this high. Okay, let's tilt up just a little bit to promote a good decoupling of the X-15. And we're actually going to transfer our pilot. <laughs> transfer to here. Sure hope we don't uh, worry too much about that. Okay. Um, 
so yeah, that's a decoupler. We'll take it from this rear view close up. And well, separation. Change vessel. Okay, and ah, uh, no, 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 ah, okay. Okay, 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 wow, it's twitchy. Oh, right, P. I need my uh, fly by wire. Shoot, that's why it's twitchy. Ha. It's a little bit hard without any sort of stability. It's got all moving surfaces after all. We'll go to a pitch of 60 degrees. And see where that gets us. We need some horizontal distance to get, uh, some horizontal velocity to get back, but not that much. We do have RCS in the form of HTP. Unfortunately, the decoupler comes along with us. That's annoying. Well, a hundred kilometers, even with the, even with the imbalance in fuels. Let's dump the ammonia. Ammonia purge complete, and yeah, properly in space and everything. I think uh, the cape is over here, right? <laughs> Tough to tell right now. Let's get a surface info box. Yeah, where's we are uh, south of the cape, so I think that's where it is. Okay, at this point, uh, my aerodynamic surfaces don't do squat, <laughs> as you can see, and we're sort of just tending towards the direction the prograde vector is going in but I can turn on RCS let me throttle down first otherwise thr uh, RCS will leak I don't know if you guys caught the max Mach number I did not I was looking at the altitude and doing other things I don't have really good air brakes for this these are the only ones I'm gonna deploy them now and see if they survive or try to deploy them oh well so much for that idea. Once we hit the atmosphere, we don't want to be deviating too far from the prograde vector, otherwise we're going to flip out. We're going to hit a pretty high Mach number on the way down here. Pulling up seems to cause quite severe G-forces. Once we get to that part. The atmosphere is forcing me to prograde. I'm going to try and do this as gently as I can. But I need to pull up, obviously. Once it allows me. Okay, uh, we gotta try, uh... All right, RCS off, there's no point now. Still want to go a bit this way. This does not glide, per se. I think maybe my vertical stabilizers are too big. I think I should make them smaller. Well, let's get the optimal sort of situation and purge the HTP. Well, the KSC is in sight, and actually the shuttle landing strip is right there. You can sort of see it. I also sort of wonder what's happened to the B-52 and whether we can switch back to it. It would be really amazing if we could, but let's see, uh, has it crashed? We're here. It, well, I guess it crashed. Wonder what would happen if we had a pilot in there still. I don't know, maybe we can try and make it for a runway. Not that that's a good thing. Um, the runway is not, you know, nice to us or level or anything. But just on principle, we should try and make for it, I suppose. I don't think we're going to make the shuttle runway, but we could try and make this one. Let's get rid of far so I can see things properly. 
And let's get the landing gear down at this point. And I forgot to tell the skids to be part of the landing gear. Okay, well actually we're going way too fast, turns out. Oh, I forgot to dump the lower stabilizer. And here I had a decoupler for it and everything. Oh, we're gonna miss it, but maybe we can just go for right past it. As long as we are on land, we'll we'll try out the skids and everything. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, this is not great. Um, I don't want to land off to the side. Let me just get right past the runway. Safer. It's fast. Ah, oh, it's all gone wrong. Uh, 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 eject. Oh, poor Jondon. Well, well, it's still a work in progress, you know. Um, I don't know. Let, let's quickly go to the tracking station and see. I, I suppose, no, they were all killed. Everybody's been killed. So that means the B-52 crashed as well. Well, anyway, that's where I'm at. <laughs> and it is obviously not perfect. More work to be done. But, yeah, um, go try it for yourself. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.